sir. this all over the place. Oh. What's up guys? I'm back again for another video games monthly box. And it got here on the 4th. So it's a day earlier than last time. That's pretty good. Let's get right into it. God, again with this thing. Really hard to open. <laughs> See what we got this time. And... Ooh. Lot of Sega games this time. Oh! We got a 1 up, which means 1 free, 1 additional game. And the usual update your thing. Always update your library so we don't get uh, doubles. Oh, you like a free digital subscription to All School Gamers Plus, one issue in print. Oh, that's cool. It's like a magazine. Look okay, at magazine. It's pretty cool. First game. Hmm. ATV Off 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 Road Fury for the PS2. Hmm. Looks like one of those ten buck games you can find like. A long time ago, you could find them on like Costco's or like um, Sam's Club. So, yeah. game with manual. Case is a little bit beat up, but what PS2 case is it nowadays? It's an actual PS2 case. It looks in pretty good condition. Should play. Ooh! Look at what the gift for this time was. A beer game smartly. Beer opener or can opener, mostly beer because that's mostly, you know. Ooh, I'm looking at some goat ones here. Let's start out with Batman Forever Genesis. I played the Super Nintendo version, not this one, the, car the animated cartoon series one, and I really enjoy that one. Okay, what else? Sonic Spinball! Play the hell out of this. Never beat it. I know there's a way to beat it. I think you have to gra gather all the emeralds or whatever. But I haven't beaten it. And Turok for the N64. This. I remember I played this. But I don't. What I remember from it is maybe not even that. It's, um. I would just jump into, like, the dark green waters and then I. I don't know, didn't know what, what I was doing. I didn't understand English when I played this. The data is Karate Champ. No freaking idea of what this game is. Zero idea. Looks in pretty good condition though. It's a data is one, so I I'm pretty sure they released a console not too long ago. And we got Oh! Dr. Mario! Fun game. Very fun game. We play this for hours. Okay. So we got what's this? I have no freaking idea what this is. And from what I see, I think the price was fifty-four cents. I have no idea what the fuck this is. This it's a Famicom game. That is all I can tell, and it looks like a game show of sorts. Maybe karaoke because they have like microphones. But 504, if I'm correct, 504 gens should be like around five bucks. Five bucks or 54 cents. I think it's like five bucks. Okay. Oh, Gyromite. This one's gonna be kind of weird to play. Jaramite, um, you need a um, Rob to use it, 
but I think you can play it with a second controller because Rob holds the controller and he just presses the thing depending on what he sees on the screen. It's gonna be kind of weird to play this one. What's this? George Foreman's KO Boxing. What the fuck is this? See, like the grill, the grill guy, and he was a boxer, I guess, and then he became the grill guy because famous. Ooh, all school. They was kind of fucked up. Pinball for the NES. Okay. It's Mario before Jumpman. It's the Jumpman guy. You know, Jumpman Mario. Jumpman. And I think this is the the one I most I was most excited of this pack. It's been kind of disappointing. It is Vector Man for the Genesis. Vector Man's awesome. Fucking love Vector Man, man. Vector Man. Okay. So, that was really short. Not as happy with this box. Not at all. Games are kind of weak. Like, very weak. Kind of suck. Oh, they did get Victor Man. And Turok. Seeds of Evil. No, Turok 2. Seeds of Evil. I'm excited for these two. Let's see. Dr. Mario. Of course. I'm excited for the games I played. So I'm excited for Spinball. I want to see what the fuck this is. Like, I have, I have to find my Game Boy. It's like over there. I have to know what the fuck this is. Like the George Foreman thing. So my headaches on this box were: Betterman, Turok, Sonic Spinball, and Doctor Mario. Yep, that's basically it. That's all I know, and I'm excited to play. These are my highlights. Like all these. My highlights. But other than that, pretty weak bots this time. Hey, last time we got some really good ones. We got Double Dragon, we got uh, Pokemon Snap, but yeah, it's basically it. I gotta find out what the fuck this is. I have no idea. Now, just like last time, let's do a calculation how much all these are uh, worth. What the world of works. Let's see. Grab all these games. Put the bots to the side. And let's see. Let's put all, all of them together. Let's be right back. Okay, so after calculations, the total comes out to $60 with 44 cents, which means this box was under. Kind of saw that it was under seeing the games that I brought. They were pretty common, but still some pretty good games in here. Like, Truck is fun, Vectorman's still good, always good. Uh, so nice Wimbo, another good one. Batman, I wanna play this one. I'm hoping it's the one I'm thinking about. But still, good game. I can play fucking Dr. Mario for hours. So these are my highlights. <laughs> and um Yeah. That means that if it was 1644, the bot was close to what well, with shipping it was like $25 under without shipping 1955 to be a sap still George Foreman can knock that one this thing is random as shit I don't know I didn't even know this existed so you get games that you don't even you might even pass up like if you're in a convention or something you you don't know this game exists you're not looking for this. You're looking for a, 
a Mario game. You're looking for like... Uh, fuck. Uh... You're looking for, uh... You're just looking for... You're looking for like... A Mario All-Stars. That's what you're looking for in a convention. You're not looking for this, but... This is the good thing about the box. They give you games that you wouldn't normally pick up. Like... In my normal days, I wouldn't pick up a Famicom game with a guy just sitting no. there and I googled it. It's like an RPG where you have to like get experience for the kid. You have to train kids into like learning how to sing or something like that, which is weird as fuck. And um, so yeah, under yes, interesting games, pretty interesting. So. Counting what happened last time in this one, I'm breaking in a, I want to say, fifth. Yeah, it was like 50. Uh, last time it was over like 5 bucks. Maybe 10, I'm not sure, I don't remember. So it's not that bad. And you, they give you games that you can have a lot of fun with. Like Spinball, Dr. Mario, and Vector Man, you can have fun for hours on those. And. I didn't have any of these games, which I don't have, which is good. So yeah, now that's good. But it's still good. I, I'm I'm liking it. So yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, that's basically it. A little bit disappointed, but it's good. So guys, until next time.